Welcome, Judy Zelina. This is the Milk Creek Government Channel. There are few things in life more rewarding than having a positive impact on a child. Big Brothers, Big Sisters of Family Services of Northwest Pennsylvania is part of the nation's largest donor and volunteer-supported mentoring network. The mission is to create and support one-on-one -on -one mentoring relationships that ignite the power and promise of youth. Big Brothers, Big Sisters achieves this by making mean, meaningful, monitored matches between adult volunteers and children. Joining us today is Big Brothers, Big Sisters program supervisor, Daniel Stone. Dan, welcome to the program again. Judy, thank you so much for having me. I, I love having you on the program because, of course, you know I just love the Big Brothers, Big Sisters program. Now, I know there are a lot of our viewers may have heard about it, but if you could uh, tell us just a little bit more about the Big Brothers, Big Sisters program at Family Services. Happy to do that. And again, thank you so much for having me. Thrilled to be here. Okay. Big Brothers, Big Sisters is the largest donor and volunteer supported mentoring network. Big Brothers, Big Sisters of America has been operating since 1904 and our local program at Family Services has been in operation since 1971. We believe that inherent in every child is an incredible potential and we work hard to help children build upon their futures. To do this, of course, we make meaningful, monitored matches between adult volunteers and children, typically ages 6 through 13 in Erie and Western Crawford County. We develop positive relationships that have a direct and lasting effect on the lives of young people. Last year, Big Brothers Big Sisters of Family Services of NWPA provided services to 133 children in Erie and Western Crawford County. And that is amazing. 133 children were able to feel the impact of what you guys do. Now, I know um, there's always a need for money. How are you guys funded? Thank you so much for asking that question, Judy. Um, of course, Big Brothers Big Sisters is offered at no cost to the families that we serve. We are, to your point, primarily supported by fundraising events, grants, private donations. 100% of all of our proceeds go directly to the program to recruit new volunteers, support current matches, and host our very fun match events. You know, you have an event coming up in, um, and it's an annual event that comes in November. And what's the event and how do people get involved? So our upcoming event, and I'm really excited that you asked, really excited to talk about it. In response to the pandemic, we created Big Brothers Big Sisters Virtual Trivia Series in January. Our final virtual trivia night for the year is scheduled for Friday, November 19th at 6 p.m., and the cost to play is going to be $15 per person. All participants have the opportunity to win great prizes. The top prize is actually a $100 Amazon gift card. Trivia night, it's a great way to stay connected, test your knowledge, all the while supporting our Big Brothers Big Sisters program. We couldn't do any of this without our gracious sponsors. Our virtual trivia series is supported by our presenting sponsor, Erie Insurance. Other sponsors include Lysol Schaff Insurance Agency, Arby's, Port Erie Plastic, JTM Foods, JJ's Bakery, Great Lakes Metal Finishing, McDonald Illig Attorneys, and Marquette Savings Bank. A quick question about trivia. Um, you, we're talking now about virtual trivia night. Previously, did you have trivia night, but it wasn't, but was it in person? We did not have in-person trivia nights. We used to do an ultimate raffle and basically as a response to the pandemic in order to upkeep social distancing, keep people safe, uh, we started doing an online virtual trivia series and we've been doing that throughout the year. Uh, it's been fairly successful considering we, we kind of just made it up due to the response to COVID. So I think we're really happy with the turnout and how we've done. Really hoping to have a big turnout on November 19th. So again, for anybody interested, please feel free to sign up. The event will be November 19th. To find out more information on our virtual trivia series, please visit www.beabigerie.org and simply click on the events tab for more information. Again, getting creative to keep us connected. Got to. So now what are other ways that people can get involved with Big Brothers and Big Sisters? As you probably know, and hopefully most folks watching, we always are looking for adult volunteers who want to have a positive impact on a child. Right now, we have more than 40 children waiting to be matched with a big brother or big sister. It's very easy to become a volunteer and make a difference in the life of a child. We ask our volunteers to spend a minimum of four to six hours with their little brother or sister each month. It really only takes a few hours each month to have a positive and lifelong impact on a child. Okay. Um Volunteering is very important in your organization. So who can volunteer and how do they sign up? Another great question, Judy. Uh, anyone over the age of 18 can apply to become a volunteer mentor. We do require a commitment of one full year. 
Although, of course, many of our matches, many of our volunteers are involved with the program for much longer. The process includes an application, assessment, training. All of our volunteers must obtain criminal, background, and child safety clearances. Once this happens, our talented match support, our talented team, make matches based on common interests and other information that we collect throughout the initial screening process. All matches receive the ongoing support from our match support specialist to ensure child safety and enhance the mentoring relationship between the volunteer and the youth that we serve. And I know you, uh, your organization, you like to keep, um, keep everybody busy. You have different activities. That I know just from different interviews that I have, I've had with you guys. What types of activities do you offer the matches? We're proud to once again be able to say we're providing more than 15 group activities each year. Activities include a Waldemir picnic, opportunities to see shows like at the Erie Playhouse, tickets to Sea Wolves and Otters games, and, and quite frankly, so much more. We're just immensely grateful to our community partners who provide us with the resources to offer these activities for our matches free of charge to our bigs and littles. Next month, in fact, we have two events coming up. We're offering a miniature golf event and a pumpkin carving event for all of our matches. In addition to our match events, of course, we encourage matches to spend together that classic one-on-one -on -one time out in the community. Common activities include shooting hoops, watching a movie, playing video games, doing crafts, doing homework. Really, what you can do is endless. Uh, the things you can do together are endless. We, all, uh, we also held our annual volunteer appreciation dinner in August uh, to honor our volunteer sponsors and supporters. This year's event was sponsored by Highmark Blue Cross Blue Shield. Uh, each year we give away our Big Impact Award to a volunteer who has had a substantial impact on Big Brothers Big Sisters. This year we were so excited, so proud to honor Her Erica Howland. Erica was a member of Big Brothers Big Sisters Advisory Board for many years and was also matched with her little sister Randy 14 years ago. They're still connected to this day, so it was just such a great thing to have her and to honor her there. Oh, that, is, that really you. sounds nice. I mean, and look at that, she was with you for all those years, and I'm sure you have volunteers that have, they're gonna be there forever. <laughs> 100%, and, and I think what's really neat is we have matches who maybe go X amount of years with a little, see them through graduation, and then take on another one, or even in Randy's case, sort, sort of leaving the program after their, their time with their little was done, mm -hmm. but still staying connected, even post their time in the program. So that's just such a cool thing to see, and the fact they were both there at the appreciation event, uh, it's what you do this for. Oh, that, sound, that, that is so nice. I mean, I love the heartwarming stories because you guys really do have an impact on these children. Speaking of that, actually, what are, how is a child impacted uh, by having, having a big brother or a big sister? Thank you so much for asking, Judy, and I'm, we're so excited to share some of the impacts that our Big Brothers Big Sisters program has on our local youth. As you know, one-to-one -one matches between bigs and littles truly empower youth and they strengthen communities. Big Brothers Big Sisters is the largest evidence-based mentoring organization. Evidence shows that children involved with Big Brothers Big Sisters achieve greater confidence and higher aspirations, they avoid risky behaviors, and they achieve success in school. Last year, 95% of youth involved in Big Brothers Big Sisters of Family Services of NWPA maintain or improve their grades in school. 98% reported they were able to avoid the juvenile justice system because of their mentor. Big Brothers Big Sisters is not only beneficial to the youth we serve, but also to our volunteers. We often hear volunteers they've gotten more out of the mentoring relationship than they could have ever imagined. And again, that's something that I'm still really taken, taken from, just because when I started, I definitely knew that bigs impacted the little. Something I was not always sure of, and I'm still learning, is how much our littles impact the bigs in a positive way. So it's just such a positive give and take relationship that we're so happy to be a part of. Now, if, where can someone go to find out more about Big Brothers or sis, Big Sisters? It's a great question. Uh, mentioned earlier, you can check out more about Virtual Trivia Night at www.beabigerie.org. You mm -hmm. can do, use that website to also sign up to become a big. And of course, if you have any questions, you can always call me at 814-866-4505. Again, I'm Daniel Stone. Please give us a call and talk to us about joining Big Brothers Big Sisters. And Daniel, uh, with being a volunteer, we talked, we talked a bit about being a volunteer. Are there any requirements to become a, a volunteer with your organization? Absolutely. And again, we're always looking for volunteers. Uh, that first step is minimum age of 18. Okay. From there, we do have a pretty intensive training process. I mean, we're going to want to get to know you because we need to screen you. And, and it's, it's to make sure that you're going to be safe with a kid, but it's also because we want to match you with the right little. Right. So there is a lot of questions there. Mm -hmm. and, and we also hope you ask us questions. Make sure our program is the right fit for you as well. So again, 
it's that give and take. Of course, we are gonna need child safety clearances, we're gonna need background checks, we're gonna need to follow all of your standard um, volunteer and, and kind of child mandated reporting clearances. Uh, but that being said, really we're just looking for people that wanna give back to the community and instill uh, some confidence in a youth's life. So anybody kind of that fits those boxes, checks those boxes, or wants to ask us any further questions about those requirements, again, please just visit our website at www.beabigerie.org or you can simply give me a call at 814-866-4505. And Daniel will certainly fix you up. Um, they welcome, they welcome bigs, big brothers, big sisters, or, or just volunteers in the program also. Um, what else, is there anything else you wanted to tell us about, uh, about uh, the program? At this point in time, like I mentioned, just kind of upcoming events. Uh, Please check out our website. Please feel free to visit fsnwpa.org. You can find out more information about our program there. I've mentioned beabigerie.org a couple times, so I hope that's not lost on any of our listeners. As you said, it's, we do need bigs, but we need volunteers, we need donors, we need people that wanna just spread the interest and message of the program. And so I think right now, uh, we really think it's a good time. It's always a good time to talk Big Brothers Big Sisters, look into Big Brothers Big Sisters, and hopefully help spread that message, our cause of that one-to-one -one mentoring to strengthen and empower uh, our youth in our own community. And Daniel, do you have any other annual events that you do throughout the year? We actually do in October, and we were kind of speaking about this before right. the interview, we do have an upcoming pumpkin carving event. Uh, historically, we do this every year. Last year, we did hold it outside. This year, we're, we're able to hold it back indoors again, which we're, we're really excited. Again, really proud to be holding events again, maybe a little bit more what we're accustomed to. Right. But that being said, it's a pumpkin carving. Matches come, we get the pumpkins donated. Uh, we're actually gonna have food at the event. There will be social distancing. We're gonna follow all the rules that we need to. But the really cool thing is that folks get to carve a pumpkin. Those pumpkins are actually donated to the pumpkin walk that I believe is taking place at Waldemere. So again, it's just a really cool, I know it probably sounds cliche, but it's so nice to be in a program where, where people give to us and then we're also able to give back to the community. So again, it's that give and take and whether it's bigs and littles or people giving to us and right. us giving back to the community, vice versa. We're just really happy to have that annual event. We're looking forward to holding an event and quite frankly, uh, we're looking forward to holding many of our traditional annual events, including our upcoming like holiday party in December. Just really glad to hopefully get back on track and, and just do the good work that Big Brothers and Big Sisters is meant to do here in our community. You do a wonderful job. I am so glad that you stopped by in on the program and let us know that um, your need for volunteers, your need for bigs, and also how we can help you. Thank you, Judy. It's, it's just always a pleasure to be here. Just really grateful to be talking about Big Brothers Big Sisters. So glad to still be here operating and doing the good work that we, that we can do. And really appreciate that sentiment as far as just finding ways for people to help us. And of course, as I said, I, I think I said the website, the phone number many times, but please do feel free to give me a call, 814-866-4505, or visit beabigerie.org. We are just looking for people that want to give and, and do right by their community. I think that's really what our program is all about. Daniel, thank you so much. It has been wonderful having you on the program. It always is. You always let us know what's going on. And again, thank you for what you do. Thank you as well, Judy. Thank you for having us. The feeling's mutual. It really is a pleasure to be here, and we can't thank you enough. Viewers, if you want to volunteer or you want to learn a little bit more about Big Brothers Big Sisters, again, uh, check out their website, any social media, and uh, don't be afraid to give Daniel a call. Believe me, he will find a place for you. So thank you for tuning into the Milker Government Channel. Until next time, have a wonderful day.